Hey guys, this is Brad from Hawaii. He is in search of care because his sciatica is driving him nuts. He's been to a couple different specialists in Hawaii, went to even a Gonstead chiropractor that did not help him, even with tons of advice from the big guys. Check out what I can do in just a few minutes by working on the neck, which is totally obvious. Check it out. So I've been uh, experiencing this bad sciatic pain, uh, lower back pain that kind of morphed into sciatic pain down my right leg. And I went to a bunch of different people. I have a chiropractor in Hawaii that I go to. Um, tried them multiple times, no real results. Um, He's been to a mild fascia release guy. Yep. He's been to, um, yep. he also didn't get the results he wanted, so he went to another Gonstead doctor. Tell us about that really, that happened. Yeah, so the, the Gonstead doctor I went to, I went to him about eight times and um, you know he, he did x-rays first, he you know pulled up everything and pointed out what this and that was out as far as uh, what needed to be corrected. And after about eight or nine adjustments, it just it just wasn't working. And uh, at one point he actually even was forwarding my records to other doctors to try to get their opinion. <sighs> he sent it to the guy, he sent it to the guy who does all the uh, seminars, uh, John Cox. And so he gave him a recommendation to go to a, I, I think it's this, he doesn't remember the exact listing, but a base posterior, it was adjusting L5. And he goes, L5 is not working, Doc. L5 is not working, Doc. So he got some recommendation. He tried the base posterior. It didn't work. Uh, I looked at the x-rays. I don't see anything. I'll point some of the arrows of the stuff because, again, I was a Gone State guy for years. I don't see anything wrong with L5. I know there's an eye and ilium on the right, and so that's the only thing I would see that's wrong with the low back if I was a Gone State guy. But if you look at the neck, which I have tons of arrows pointing to, you're going to see how bad it is. My stuff's obvious. If there's Gone State listening down there, it's... And so uh, my stuff's obvious, and we're going to adjust him for neck today, even though he doesn't have a neck problem. Our x-ray shows 16 millimeter right imbalance, 26 millimeter right lower shoulder. Here we have 8 millimeter short left leg, 12 millimeter right pelvic rotation, and 9 degrees spinal curve. Here we have high reversal kyphosis, enlarged EOP, and arthritis. Here we have an L2 hypermobility leading to significant arthritis and constipation. Pain is in the primarily in the hip now, lower back hip, and shooting down my right leg. He's had 10 years of this pain, and they used to go away pretty quickly. Now it's just lasted longer and longer and longer. That's yep. the bad thing. Yep. And this last one's how long? How long has this lasted? This has been going on for almost three months now. Three months now. Yep. And so he's, again, just dying in pain. He wants to out of pain. Come tell us uh, what The knee pain is uh, primarily like tendonitis. I've had that for a couple years. Gotcha. And um, it ranges from moderate to... Anyways, yeah. once we adjust them, you'll see it's better. So I went to uh, just a regular doctor and they prescribed anti-inflammatories and some painkillers um, and offered me a cane and you know, they didn't want to do an MRI right away. I had to go back again to just get them to order the because MRI. Because he he's at the best hospital in the world. Where? Best, and, uh, best, uh, best insurance? Best insurance? It's Kaiser Permanente yeah, 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 yeah. in Hawaii. Yeah. How much pain there, sir? That's like about a seven right there. Seven right yeah. there. And you can see how far he goes very, doesn't go down very well. Back this way, sir. How about that? A four. Like a four. Now uh, look at the floor, please, with your neck. Any problem there? No. Nope. Look at the ceiling. How about there? None. So zero pain in his neck. His back hurts everything, and all we're going to do is adjust his neck to make his back feel better. And you guys are going to still give me um, grief on that. And so, um, but you're going to witness it firsthand, unedited videos. So two more tests, please, sir. Go ahead and bend over, uh, not bend over, uh, squat, please. Okay. How much pain in your knees and back? I get about like a four or five in my knees and about five in my back, gotcha. lower back. I want to show that one more time. Only reason I want you to do it is because I want to show how the knees react after I adjust you. Okay, see how slow he goes, guys? How deliberate he goes down? And so again, four or five in the knees, right? Yep, five in the back. Okay, now last one, stand up on his toes. He loves this one. Makes him feel real agile. Five seconds, stand up on those toes, dude. Stand up on those toes, twinkle toes. It's actually a little bit difficult. <laughs> a little bit. Why does it feel difficult? Tell them why. Uh, well, you, you were just telling me it has to do with balance. It does, but I'm just wondering, just suggestively. Just, but in, I, I don't know why it's difficult. It's difficult, right? I just feel off center. Gotcha. Gonsa doctor never adjusted my neck. The uh, first chiropractor did, but yeah, yeah, yeah. nothing, no result. Gonsa, adjust those necks, guys. Yeah. Good. Whew. Wow. That's some uh, tension in there. Yeah. Oh man, no, 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 that was better. That one was intense. <laughs> that was intense. The right one should have gone the same way. There's something stopping the right side from yeah. going. But crazy, right? Yeah. That was the same that, as the body, right? That felt like I needed it for sure. Lifty, lifty, bratty, bratty. Let's get up. Feeling a little stiff here. 
We're going to spin them around, have them face forward. Remember, no twisting or turning. Are you going to undo my work? Look at how much pain he is in. And so uh, this is his first adjustment. And I know you guys are thinking, adjust his back. You will see. We don't need to. And we get him better than every other doctor he's seen. Let's check out how he's doing. I feel tension release. Don't don't move your hands. Don't move your hands. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Tension release in my shoulder area. A little, a little Definitely yeah. upper back. Good. Arms down. Look straight ahead. Look at the front of the place. Okay. Take your time, Brad. Go down the hall. Is that a smile of happiness or? A smile I, I, of... I definitely feel a little relief. Definitely. He doesn't look like him getting off the table, huh? And I was ready to be like, I don't like you, Dr. Bear. <laughs> you guys all know we're recalibrating here. Arms down, look straight ahead. Let's get it together. So, so far I feel I feel a little lighter. Not as, not as heavy, not as much tension. Um, my leg still hurts a little bit, but I definitely feel as I'm walking, like some pressure has loosened up. Good. I don't know if that's in the lower back or just in You general. know, I just, we almost want you subjective feeling right here. That was a seven. Maybe like a four now. A four? Yeah, I can go and further down. And you guys see how, when, how far he went to? When yeah, he definitely can go further down. Go back like this, sir. I forget what that was, a four or five or something a minute ago. It's like a two. Gotcha. So yeah. it's different? Little, different? little pull in the... Back. So you look like a really nice guy. Are you lying for me just to make my live videos look good so your kid's like, oh my God, that doctor there is so cool? No, no? this is totally legitimate. legitimate. Totally feel it. Gotcha. Absolutely. My knees definitely are looser. <laughs> How's that tendonitis? How's that tendonitis, Grandpa? I want to do that one more time because yeah, my knees good. are definitely <laughs> looser. That is unreal. How's that tendonitis, Doctor? It's. <laughs> I don't feel. I don't feel it. I don't feel it. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah. So on your toes, please, sir. Still a little bit wobbly. Yeah, but how about the strength? But you definitely you know? a little stronger. Yeah. Easier holding that. Yeah. So what do you think of this whole process? I'm excited to get adjusted again tomorrow. <laughs> I, had, I had no relief from him after eight times. Yeah. And yeah. again, I'm not trying to bash on the Gonset doctor per se, I'm just bashing on the whole idea of chasing symptoms, chiropractors. This is not about chasing symptoms, it's about being smarter than the system. It's about using neurology to our favor. And you guys know this, we're taught in school, the brain is the computer of the body, guys. Not the symptom, but we all want to chase because people want, they want to get treated where the pain is. but. He's here to tell you, you're a little bit better, huh? Yeah, I feel feel definitely improved just this one session. Thank you. I would say, um, you know, yesterday the pain was probably like at an eight or nine, and today I'm like at about a seven uh, gotcha. when I experienced the, the pain. So you're saying 15% kind of thing? 20 yeah, about 10, overall. 15%. Gotcha. Yeah. Definitely felt that sucked. Yeah, so why don't you tell them how day two, or second adjustment, is different than the first adjustment? That one felt a little bit deeper on the right side mm -hmm. uh, than yesterday. Yeah. So um, after the second adjustment yesterday, definitely I walked a lot, felt a good deal of improvement, but then when I slept, uh, it was the first time in a long time I actually had quite a bit of pain that actually kept me up most of the night. Um, and then getting up this morning, just a lot of pain in the area that I'm experiencing it. So the, the pain originally was going all the way down my leg into my calf and now I feel less on my calf and it's more in the top portion of my leg um, and it's changed from more of a sharp pain to uh, a little bit more of a dull pain at this point. Good. So I looked at your x-rays again. I think I may have been one level too low on you. So we're going to go a tiny bit higher because you have a high reversal right up in here. Right there. Oh, uh, that yeah. was intense. That was intense. More intense yeah. than the other adjustments, huh? Uh, I would say so. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Well, through the course of the week, I've definitely improved. Um, maybe not as much as I liked. Uh, had a bad as day. As much as your friends out there, too? Maybe as much as, yeah, the rest <laughs> of the group I'm with. Um, middle of the week, I kind of felt like I had a little bit of a setback or a stall. We talked about that a couple days ago. Felt really good yesterday. And then this morning, kind of like just, you know, okay, but not not as much gotcha. improvement as I wanted. So I'll go over some key points in there. So um, uh, the stall was that we never, he, he has a way of, 
of adapting to his pain that was killing his back. He was sitting really terribly. So I forced him to change and have better posture while I was sitting. And so he didn't want to do that at first, but he believed me, he did what I said, and he, and he started to get a home run from yep. it again. And so he worked through that, and then he had a day off, and that day off, he did better again. Yep. And so this morning we did the massage, and we did the same adjustment, we did, yeah, we did the same, same adjustment, yep. and he had a setback. But he also changed his seat in his car, and uh, we did. We kind of disciplined him about sitting properly. So there's been emphasis of work with him and force, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But that's you know that's called testing. So we test the waters. Here. I would rate it from the beginning of the week until now about 20 to 30 percent gotcha. better from where I, was. I learned specifically the best way to sit for the pain I'm having. And so I just want to put this out there because I love full disclosure. You know, people come from a long ways. He's come from a long ways to get better here, and uh, I'm still hopeful. He's begging me for a low back adjustment. I tell him hell no. And so I get, he's going to learn whether it kills him or not. And he went to uh, Disneyland, no, Knoxbury Farm. Yep. And what did you think about Knoxbury Farm? Uh, walked around the whole day, felt, by the end of the day, felt really good. Yeah. Definitely pain greatly reduced. And so this guy's talking about 20, 30%, but tell us how many rides you went on that uh, music rides. Probably at least half a dozen. Half a dozen? Yeah. And yeah. how'd you do getting in and out of those rides? Pretty, pretty good. You know, I still had pain, but um, it was lessened. Good. A little different feel from the chair, huh? Yeah. Mm. I go back in there and you're gonna have you sit the chair for me. Okay. I wanna see what happens there. By the way, guys, this is stuff I do all the time. And oh. um, yeah, he's had this pain ever since, but we find the right position. I wanna see if he knows it. Good. So anyways, uh, that's his first week down. We'll do another couple of videos next week and so show you his pro progress. Uh, over the weekend, I feel like I progressed from Friday when I left the office till uh, today. Um, just a slight improvement, but an improvement nonetheless, especially in some of the issues I had sitting and getting out of a seated position that's improved. And then uh, he says driving, tell him about driving. Yeah, and today I, I drove, I haven't driven in several weeks and the pain was pretty minimal with that. So that I was, and he, was he was actually by. scared to drive. Now he had yeah, to drive. Yeah, definitely. So this can be a little different. The most important thing for you is just to relax, okay? Okay. feel a little different than the other adjustments we're giving you? Giving you? Felt good. Okay, so that's right. Mm. Good, nice. Okay, so um, I went pretty darn good, guys. Um, any here? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I adjusted both sides about the same, but one side he uh, you got you heard a little a little yelp out of him. So that why was yeah. yeah? Why was the yelpy? What was the yelpy just, about? It just felt I felt it more on that side. So uh, last week when I came here, I got off the plane. I was in significant pain, and after about I guess it's been about 13, 14 adjustments over, I guess about seven seven treatments, seven days, the pain significantly decreased. Uh, not 100% where it's completely gone, but it's definitely gotten to the point where it's more manageable. So that's the biggest takeaway I think that I had the past what, couple of weeks. What percentage are you better? I'm kind of curious. Um, I would say I'm probably about 70% better cool. from where I was at, yeah. Um, the big thing is Dr. Thayer's uh, postural kind of um, lessons that he gave me have been help, helped me to manage the pain. So pain medication, I'm not taking any. Um, that was a you know something I was taking prior to getting here to manage the pain. So I feel at least uh, leaving here, I'm able to not take those things okay. and uh, can just utilize some of the suggestions he gave uh, in certain positions that have uh, aggravated the issue that I have. Um, so that's been a big thing for me. Um, okay. So his big thing was that he couldn't sit. Right. And so uh, I thought this was interesting because we taught him how to sit, 
and he's like, I don't want to do that. It hurts. And so tell him about this, how we just, I sort of forced you to do it in the beginning, but how this changed everything. Yeah. At first it was uh, definitely uncomfortable to sit. It has been for like three months for me. And that was the most painful aspect sitting and then getting out of a seated position. But he kind of taught me how to position myself and how to uh, pick out certain seats that might be better than others, uh, what to look for, how to adjust certain things. And that has allowed me to to sit down. For three months, I, I pretty much didn't sit down unless I had to. Um, even eating dinner and things like that, I would I would do that standing and up. And then driving, and tell us about the driving too. Kind of driving, thing. I've had to start driving the past couple of days and uh, I was a little worried. And about, you haven't been driving for a while. I haven't right? been driving yet. I had my wife drive me as much as possible. And that I'm actually able to manage. I'm able to you know yeah. manage the pain in doing it. So Now tell us about if you would have left on Friday Versus right. today, I want to know that. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I stayed a couple extra days because initially it was just a week treatment plan that I had uh, selected. And uh, the extra couple days, I think the most progress has come in the past three, two, three sessions. So I'm glad I did that. After the week, I did improve. There was definitely some improvement, but the past several days made a massive difference for the way I feel. So I'm glad I did. Sciatica pain, we had pain down the leg all the time, but really it was the sitting. So we're going to show you how he sits. And uh, it still ain't perfect, baby, but we're down again from seven out of 10 to one and two out of 10. Yeah. And the most important thing is that he can control it now. He can mm -hmm. drop it. He, he knows what to do, where to sit, that kind of thing. Uh, knee, after the first adjustment, when we tested that, that seemed to be a non-issue for the most part. Uh, ankle, the pain actually has moved up the leg more. So that, that went away. Gotcha. Yeah. And then so, um, now, one last thing is too, so you've had all this experience with different chiropractors. How has this kind of been different with the other chiropractors? This, um, obviously more intensive, um, the adjustments themselves have been different, a different feeling to them, particularly because you're working on the neck, different than any other neck adjustment I've ever had. Um, it always brings some kind of relief, um, maybe not necessarily to the exact symptom, but I always feel a tension release. And the past couple have brought the tension actually, yeah, he's in actually the areas. felt it right to it now. Yeah, time. so um, happy that we got to that point. Um, but also just the the time that you put into it. Um, yeah, you know, spending so, extra time. With so how patient. how much of the videos uh, show what's actually going on here? Did you do you get a a sense of how this all goes, or is it completely different when you're here? I'm curious about that too. The videos that you post, I post that. I yeah, post. I mean, they give you a good sense of what exactly you're going to experience. But I, I guess you can't even put everything on there because there's more to uh, some of the things that you teach. How much do we work here on you guys? Uh, a, a ton of time, right? Yeah. Mm. Nice. That same side again. Yep. Big things for him we've taught him is uh, again posture, how to sit properly, and how to relax. And then he also does this thing. He likes to rush through his movements, and so we taught him how to like, pace himself a little more, slow down, think about posture more in every aspect of his life. And so he's going to get up and show you what he's kind of learned right now. So go ahead and get up. So what he's done before is he really goes into the pain state and he starts limping and limping. You guys can look in the earlier videos and see that. And we've taught him just how to get up and just. Try to relax and go into a good position. Yep. Appreciate it. Good guy. Uh, I do hope you come back because I think yeah. there's some more we can learn. Absolutely. Um, see you guys next time.